Um, welcome to the chaos common working group meeting. A uh, little bit of a change. Thanks for turning on transcriptions. So Don and I are, are switching in terms of kind of leading the different working groups. So I'm going to take over leading the common working group and Don is going to lead the OSPO working group. So that's kind of a, just a switch we'll have going into the future. Um, I we we I'd like to talk just a little bit about some not really fundamental changes, but things I that I'd like to put in front of everybody for the common working group. So right now we um, we have obviously our metrics models that we develop, and it's um, pretty common we're finding that the metrics models don't have all the associated metrics developed for them. So for example, Don, I even think the starter metrics model that you had put together was like short one metric out of the five or four. And so we had kind of in the past around metrics models, we had kind of played around with the idea that we would, if we needed a metric developed, that we would put that issue in what we believe to be the respective working group. So we would put an issue, for example, in evolution and say, hey, evolution, we need this metric developed or hey, DEI, we need this metric developed. That, um, that didn't seem to be taken up so well because we, I feel like we were kind of pushing the, the effort out. We weren't really centralizing that effort to produce the metrics. So what I'd like to propose is that, that we in the common working group take on that effort to help at least uh, like start the metrics development for the, the metrics model group or for whomever the group that needs that, that metric. So we could at least try to get our, our head around what a metric might be. So for example, in Don's case, I don't even remember what it was, you know what I mean? But what the metric was, but like, I think one that shows up often in metrics models is um, CI, there's something about CI development time or something like that, that just hasn't been developed. Um, do you remember what it was, Sean? There was a, I can look. Mm, yeah, I don't, but I, I thought we, I think that metric is actually in development now. But I, yeah, so I just think we need a place to kind of centralize that effort. And we can, we don't have to do a great job, to be honest with you, on the metric, but just at least to get it started, to get it into a template, to at least give the group that needs the metric kind of a starting point. I don't know what people's thoughts are on that, at least to, to kind of get these metrics rolling that we need to get developed, particularly for metrics models. Yeah, my, my thoughts are this seems like a natural evolution. The working groups worked well when we were starting from very limited number of metrics and just to generate them. Now the metrics are coming to us through more applied paths and the working groups are, I guess, kind of in a, it's more fits and starts. And so I think it makes sense to have a group that just focuses on metrics development or does metrics development work across a range of considerations that it, that it can be more targeted because we're not trying to build another 80 metrics. We're just no, trying to build the metrics that we need. Agreed. Um, yeah, and I mean, we kind of started this, this working group as a place to kind of fill in the gaps for some of the common metrics that um, were used across lots of different, lots of different things, but didn't fit naturally into one working group. And, and now, you know, we kind of have the metrics models, which are being defined, which are now generating gaps. And, and I think that this is a natural, a natural place to at least start filling those gaps and then, you know, use the expertise from the other working groups as we need to. But I think this is a good place to do that. Right on. Yeah, I would add that, uh, yes, we can start, we can develop, but uh, since each group is focused on particular domain, so if we see it aligns with some group, then we can develop and send it to their way for the feedback, rather than just general community feedback at release. So Yeah, and I, I think even just sending it to them, I think we should, we could have like liaisons with those groups. Right. I think there's right. enough of us here that that attend the other working group meetings that could kind of personally give it to the, right. to the other working because the issue dropping the issue didn't seem to work real well right 
All right. And then I, I think too that we can assist with just as that as we kind of share it with the other working groups and finalize on what it can be, we can help with the publication, the whole um, release process as well to get the, the metric out and published. Um, the other kind of to the to this point as well, you know, I think as we form these kind of focus groups, like with the to-do group or OSPO plus plus, um that I, I don't have a sense that some of these groups want to spend time developing metrics. Mm -hmm. like that seems like a maybe not the best ask for for the OSPO group that we'd spend time developing a metric. Yeah, I, think I think these groups are going to end up they're going to be more strategic in how they think about it. And it would be great if they could just kind of talk openly about metrics they'd like to see, and we could just document that and try to lift those lift those forward. Yeah, and also there's like 25 people in that meeting, so that would be a little tricky to have everybody jumping in a dock together. Like that would, I don't know how well that would work. <laughs> We'd get a lot of words <laughs> really quickly. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, all right, so kind of in, in that regard, this is um, metrics models. This is, so I, I think maybe one of the tasks today, I would like us to spend a little bit of time going into the metrics models that we have published already and identifying what some of those metrics are and, and just kind of dropping them in the list here. Um, one of the things that, but before we get to that, one of the things that we need to get done is on the metrics that we do have released in the common working group on the spreadsheet over here on the <laughs> right hand side we do need to add keywords so we do have the context tags and so if you recall on the website the context tags align with these so and the keywords align with that the search functionality and so we just need to to get these keywords here. And then um, I think Kevin is helping to pick that up and get those assigned to the different metrics so that they're available through search. Yep, makes sense. So we have some, but not all. So I'm hoping maybe we could just take a little bit of time today and type some keywords <laughs> that we think would be appropriate for a search. It's not a very hard task. Um, but just get a few, would everybody be okay with that? And the keywords are anything, they're anything you think. They're not, the context tags have predefined words. The keywords are just what you think if somebody typed might help identify or locate that metric. I'll take silence as of that sounds yeah, like silence an awesome is a scent, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So the spreadsheet is up here. It's in the minutes. You should all probably have access to the spreadsheet anyway. Um, I'll put it in the chat. And I think with just a few of us here, it's pretty easy to just grab an empty green line, green row. Um, so here's the spreadsheet.
So I was just working on the occasional contributors um, and I, as keywords, I put in all of the things that we decided not to call this metric. Um, That's a good idea. So, but we should talk about that. Like, do we, do we want to have drive by as a keyword in case people try to search for it? Or do we not want to have that? As a term because, because it's drive by. Yeah, I, specifically, I'm talking about drive by. Like drive through and fly by are, are probably fine, but drive by, we deliberately said that we weren't going to use that. Would, Do we want that I on the would, keyword or just delete it? I'd probably just on principle not include it. Okay. Thanks, everybody. We're almost done. And it looks like we're done. Well, that'll be a fascinating bit of the uh, recording for people to watch. <laughs> Our faces. <laughs> yeah, it should be exciting. Yes, welcome to welcome to the other side of that. Thanks for watching <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> um, Kevin, helpful here. Mm -hmm. Okay, right on. Um, any questions or comments from folks? Okay, great.
Thanks, everybody. Uh, we do at some point uh, do pull requests to add the context tags and the keywords to, to all of those metrics, the metrics pages uh, themselves. Yes, yeah, exactly. So. Yes. Yep. Now that we have that done, that shouldn't be too hard. I can do. I actually, I can do that. <clears throat> If you want to wait until after I populate the page IDs, sure. You want to, because you could add the, uh, the page ID text at the bottom as well. Yeah, that'd be great. Could you just like ping me somewhere <laughs> on Slack to let me know that you're done? And then mm -hmm. can you, would you put the ID in here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll put it in there when I, okay. yeah, the, the process I've been using is when I go in and do the keywords, I grab the page ID as well. So okay. Just doing it all okay. at once is, uh, uh, it's been easier. Just easier. More. Okay. Sounds good. Great. Thanks. I'll just wait for you to be on that. All right. Um, and honestly, the, the second thing, it's a little bit of an activity again. Um, what would be helpful is if we could come to this page and you can just go to the metrics and then down here in the bottom right corner is the view all models. And here are the current models that are published. So thanks Elizabeth for kind of pushing that through. Um, so what would be great is if, if maybe we could just spend a little bit of time just click on, I mean, I know we have two, four, five of us. So maybe, um, Don, you want to take these top two development index and responsiveness, um, Sean, community service and support and funding. Sean. Yep. I, yeah, I already clicked on community. I, I, I just clicked community service okay. and support. I was just following my direction. You get the idea. So just basically take a look at the model and if there's not a link, to a metric, that's it. That's the metric we need to to develop. Um, there's, there's two that are ready to be published that have not been published yet, so I can look at those two. Okay, are they just in here? Yeah, it's safety and then Don's project. Uh, project. Okay. Okay. Um, well, mine has all its metrics defined because I did that as a part of doing the model. You did actually. <laughs> actually, you, you did include the metric. That was correct. Um, Kevin, could you take a look at these top two? Sure. Uh, I just looked at the community activity. It has all the metrics. Okay. Defined. All good. Yeah. So where do we put where do we put the missing ones? Because there are a bunch missing just, in that top one. Just put them in this. Put them like in a list here. Okay. In the notes, in the notes for the meeting. Yeah. But uh, you looked at community activity. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Looked at I, I, yes, okay. I looked I'll look at, at engagement. Yeah, I'm looking. Oh, okay. You look at the engagement, then I look at the DI building. It shouldn't take too long. DI badging has all the metrics to defined. Great. Safety should be good also. Okay. So project awareness requires three metrics. Uh, yeah, I got that one. Okay. How have we not defined issue comments before? <clears throat> I feel like that one is one we would have defined early on. I, guess yeah, I, feel like, I feel like step one is to confirm that it's really missing um, because some of these, like, have we really not defined downloads too? I was thinking that. Mm -mm. We don't have that. Right. So then now we can start cross. What I wanted to do is at least to get all of these in one place and we can now cross reference as to whether or not we actually have them developed. And then I also want to cross reference with any open issues in working groups. And we can simply just close those issues at this point 
just from a workflow perspective or make a comment on the issue that we're, we're on it. CI test, that's the one. Yeah, I did that one as well. Some of these we've started, we just never got them over the finish line. Okay. So that that's something I think this group can be good at doing also is just like finishing all the tying up all the loose ends like issue comments there's a doc for it but it's not been done. And I just checked development responsiveness and that one's good. <clears throat> I say it's good it's uh, uh that's just another bug though. Um, so, look, sorry, I'm going to derail for just one second. Um, one thing that would be super helpful for me is when I'm looking on the website and I see a metric called development responsiveness, and I'm looking at this page, I don't know which working group it belongs in. So then I find myself digging through the working group repositories to try to figure out where the metric came from so that I can fix the formatting issue in the markdown file. That's um, fair. I have the same problem. I feel like maybe maybe uh, there should be, I don't, I don't know. So, how, so how there, there is an easy solution to that. Uh, if you go to the Google sheet and do a search on the entire sheet, you can easily find out what is the quick place and you that, can track out. That's that is the doing. that is yeah. the shortest uh, solution I have. But if the but if the chaos website is supposed to be the like the, the one place to go to, yeah. to find this information, then there should yeah. be some way of, of doing that. Uh, when, I, when I we wonder. Had, uh, yeah, we have context tags. We have keywords. I'm wondering if one of if we should have also have working group. Uh, I was originally thinking that we could just add the working group <clears throat> as a keyword, uh, but oh, I'm. Good. I'm now wondering if maybe it would be better suited as a context tag. Uh, or even one of the discussion I recall, we were not trying to keep uh, aligned with the working group for all the metrics is because working groups are evolving, changing constantly. Like even if you look at the structure now, working groups are getting more focused on the uh, need or the context space rather than you know, other things. So that is where we thought not to keep the working group in that. So I, I agree with you on that, uh, but I, but I, there is a kind of the practical yes. matter of these metrics do come from someplace. <laughs> yes. And yes. we, we should have for, for rigor and validity, we should be able to, we should be able to trace them. So Don, your suggestion, it, or there are a couple of suggestions here, but like under contributors, for example, we would have context tags colon something keywords colon something and then working group colon the name of the working group in, in the and then kevin i know you had some some variations on that as well like potentially putting the working group as a keyword yeah if we put it as a keyword then it's searchable however there are some keywords like dei is going to be a keyword that it's going to hit a lot. So if you're searching for metrics that come from the DEI working group, searching DEI in the search boards can pull up a bunch of stuff, and not all of it may be DEI metrics. Uh, and to Vinod's point, what happens when we change a working group name? Do we like have to go back and retro change all of the metrics that that working group has ever done? Or how would we handle that? Uh, well, if we put it in as a, if we just add it as an extra context tag, then it's just another kind of another bucket. So it would it would actually show up as a topic area as well. I mean, my general thinking about the working group metric association is that the working groups created the metrics out of a, uh, it's an efficiency in the development metrics strategy that we used once upon a time. So there doesn't need to be other than maybe some tags or keywords. Uh, a long-term link to that working group. Can, 
let's maybe get back to Don's original question. Like she, oh. I think, well, it's just, I yeah. like, I think the original problem was that whatever the metric is, is this right, Don? Like if you see a formatting problem here, you don't know where to go fix it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, another, another option might be, I mean, maybe, I, I don't know how easy it would be at the bottom of the page to display the source URL from, from the working group. Maybe that would be a better way to do it so that you could click on it and see the so where it came from in the GitHub. repository. Maybe that would be better. So uh, like, or maybe we can, uh, to keep a standardized link to the Google Sheet where all the metrics are maintained with the GitHub oh, yeah. repo and everything. Yeah. We have that, I don't I don't think we want that link to be public. Like this, this the the link to the the spreadsheet. I don't think we want to put we don't want to put that on the metrics. Uh, yeah. So Vanilla, you're you're the, the, the way that the you do it is great for those of us that sit all the time in chaos and look at our right. metrics. But by making it easier oh. for people to fix small things, if they yes. don't know where to go dig through the spreadsheet, I think would be make it make them more accessible for people to to help out with. I like right. I like the idea of adding the source URL. And I'm, yes. I'm sorry if I was talking over you, Elizabeth. No, you're good. I was just agreeing with with that too. Yeah. Okay. So at, at the bottom of that page, there's there's going to be two kind of URL messages, right? So the the one message yes. is, uh, you know, for a stable link to this metric, use this URL, and then the other message would be uh, to edit to edit this document or uh, request a uh, request an edit or whatever. Here's the yep. GitHub URL, right? Right. I like that. That's yeah. a good addition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or maybe to contribute to this metric. Yeah. Would be good text for that. Okay. Um, so, and if we are, uh, I think adding those two things is kind of a big deal. So I would, I would maybe bring up the discussion again that we were having prior about adding that to the template. Yeah, that's I, I'm I'm okay with that. Um, and this shouldn't be, you know, it'll just take a little bit of time. But we do have, I mean, the spreadsheet at least is up, I think, well up to date with the links to the GitHub stuff. So yes. it shouldn't take too long to to track these down. You know what I mean? Just tab by tab. Okay. Great. Um, okay, so um, just in terms of thank you for for going through and identifying the metrics that are in here that have yet to be defined um, that don't appear to be done. I think what I'm going to propose is that um, I'll take on an action item to confirm that missing metrics are indeed missing. <laughs> um, and then also, um, confirm, or uh, just, I don't know, confirm straight word, like explore respective work group issues to see where we're at. <coughs> I don't know. I'm not saying that real well, but I think some of these some of these have probably been placed in working groups where we think they should go. So I'm guessing something like issue comments. There might be an issue in the evolution working group already that was probably put ago and if i I'd, I'd like to kind of understand which ones have associated yeah. issues at the yeah moment. maybe move those issues to a common working group and then we can go through them over here yeah first i just need first let me just identify where they are so that we can kind yeah. of clear that so sean no. did you say oh dear I, what 
I did. I, I was just looking at the project and that awareness one that that top one stars badges likes thumbs up uh, in evolution. We we've been working on that one for oh. like two years. Uh, yes. And uh, there's a lot of. Uh, uh, a lot of discussion on what that one would look like, which is why it's never well, maybe it's never actually made it to being published. <laughs> maybe we could call it something like that. Well, these are often referred to as vanity. Like they do have utility in them, but maybe we could just have a single metric called like vanity or something like that. I know it sounds terrible, but yeah, without a making a metric for stars and a metric for badges and a metric for likes, like that seems like a lot of work for a pretty tiny set of metrics. Yeah, there was there was some. Uh, uh, I'm trying to remember now that the discussion around it was more those. on that. Uh, but yeah, there's there's some controversy over over them. Yeah, yeah I was, mean, vanity is kind of a pejorative word, so we probably want to find a different one. But it's fine. Yeah, yes, it's yeah. something along those yeah. lines. E emojis was the word that I was thinking to represent all of them. We, yeah, we, we had we had emojis as one of yeah. them, and there was another one that was like stars are kind of at a project level. Emojis are kind of at the comment level. Yeah. So emojis and thumbs up are kind of these these signals of attention. Let's carry this conversation on one step. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, you know, it's totally fine. But but this is it. We can have this conversation here and. Like, even if it's been two years, I assume this was an evolution, Kevin, the conversation. So maybe we can help move it along as coming from common. <laughs> yeah, you I know? think we had finally decided we were going to maybe invite Remy in to, uh, <laughs> to help provide chat with us and help us figure it out. Okay. Um, um, but, so but this is did. really helpful. Okay. This is really helpful. Thank you. So I think we have the keywords done. Thank you. And I think real quickly, we've identified all the metrics from the metrics models that probably need to be developed. Um, like I said, I have these two action items to explore what metrics are indeed missing. Um, and then um, also that, that issue thing. I do think we left today also with some nice things about a stable URL link for those who want to reference the metric and those who would like to contribute. So that should be easy enough to do. And Elizabeth, you and I can kind of coordinate on that just to get that in the, into the template and then also into the metrics themselves. Right on. That's it. I'm done. Unless anybody has something for common. Yeah, uh, I have created the archive. Are you, can you anyone click it and see if they are uh, shareable or visible to others? I was not what sure. What do you want me to do? Yeah, go to the top of the page. I've created the archive of the minutes okay. for the pre -arc. Can you just check, are these like uh, visible? Uh, or can anyone open it? Because on my system, it was, yeah. And I the other one. Seen. Yeah, there is other one too. This one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah and uh, both are in the chaos work, uh, common working group folder. I place them over there so that it is we move or somebody leaves, they should be there in the phone. Okay, great. Uh, thanks for doing that, Vinod. Yeah. And then the other, um, the other thing we might want to look at before we end the meeting is yeah. if we if we go down to the January meeting, um, there were a couple of metrics that were kind of in progress. Okay. So we did the metrics model. I think Sean had said mm -hmm. that he was going to work on contributor location. Yeah. Uh, there's also that, good account good. contributor <laughs> bot activity. There, there were a few other metrics that we were sort of in flight with, and so I don't want to, I don't want to lose lose those. Okay. Those. No, the metrics models. That one's done. You can drop that. Okay, one. that was yours. Yeah, that was that's mine. Fun. Yeah, I, I think the one I have are more on the review side. Uh, we have to review these. That's what I recall. Ah uh, yeah, re revisit. Which says which metrics should be revisit? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I also had a kind of a question about the the way that chaos is restructuring. Sure. So if 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 common is kind of taking over the task of uh, <clears throat> is becoming kind of the metrics working group. I'm assuming the the OSPO group and the. Uh, 
risk group and, and DEI are kind of moving more into model work. Is that right? Um, well, so I think we have a couple different working groups. So the OSPO working group, so there's, there's a, a trend that we're having, which is towards working groups that are bringing together individuals with shared concerns around metrics, not just around things like risk, but around solving problems, for example, in corporate open source program offices, or in the case of OSPO++, government and academic open source program offices. Um, uh, two others that we had talked about are for community managers and working to build a group around community managers. And the other was around event organizers. So these are working groups that are intended to bring people together um, who are trying to talk through challenges associated with, with metrics and using metrics and how does metrics help make decisions. And it seems like these, these types of working groups or these focus groups, whatever we want to call them, um, the, there's probably not um, efforts to get down into the details of creating and publishing metrics, that it can be a discussion more about things that are strategically important for a common group of people in a particular context. So that's like full, full stop kind of on those. And then the DEI working group, um, at least recently, has been doing a lot of work in supporting um, the badging effort. So if there's a model that comes out of the DEI working group, that's completely fine. If there are particular metrics that come out of the DEI working group also, still completely fine. Um, so uh, one of the thought, uh, thought or question I have is, so if those groups are doing some discussion, bringing some ideas, how do we materialize those in form of uh, creating metrics or models? Like they are, they are not developing the metrics or models. They are sharing the ideas or needs that they want to see as a community solving us. So now there is a gap. Like we as a developer uh, developing those metrics, how do we bridge those uh, gaps? Like that's kind of what I was getting at as well. Well, so I mean, we have. It, it's going to, I think, kind of rely on people to help bridge this gap. Um, if we have a, a technical solution, then that might be great to to hear from you, Vinod, or yeah. if you have thoughts on this. But so, you know, I so, think part of it is. Oh, go ahead. So uh, the one suggestion that, like, uh, as uh, people in this, especially in this group, are attending many of the different working groups. So uh, maybe one of us are representing in those groups uh collect those ideas and develop a metric and bring it here for the development and then bring it back to that community for the feedback that was even my first question how uh, if we develop something we need the feedback back from the community who has generated those ideas or given yeah, agreed time. yeah and i mean just we do have good representation from the people on this call right so maybe we can even do it like this uh sean representing risk so he can bring those ideas in form of metric i can bring those from the ospo or or don can bring or maybe in other groups we can bring those at here develop it and then bring them for the feedback yes So should we assign someone for each group uh, that represents that group mm -hmm. and the uh, here, or it should be just general and anyone can bring it? Let's just let's just try without assigning for okay. now. I just we had, I think we had. Maybe maybe this will work. Maybe it won't work. I think we had tried something formal with issues and it didn't okay. seem to work. Okay, and so. Well, and I think when this when this comes up, so when when we're sitting in the OSPO working group meeting and somebody is kind of requesting a metric, I think we treat it as action items the same way we've done in in this working group. And you know, maybe I would take an action item, or you would take an action item to to bring it to the common working group and create an issue. 
Right. So I think when we um, we should just be diligent about when when people are requesting things and some of these more role based working groups that we um, remember to assign someone an action item to go right. and 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 deal with it and try that see if that works. <clears throat> Is, is evolution working group sticking around or is that one becoming the community management working group? Uh, um, to your second part of your question, we haven't talked about that. And to the first part of your question, I think it is still sticking around. Okay. I think Armstrong is pretty um, interested in keeping it around, even if it just meets monthly. Like, I think he really feels strongly that it should exist in some fashion, just for like, those um you know detailed questions or issues that come up that um, relate to you know evolution he wants a place for those those conversations to happen where folks who have that expertise can get together if that makes sense so it's, it's and they're doing they're doing metrics work then Sorry, no, um, the, the group will stick together, um, but just talk about like if there are issues with any metrics or any reviews or work that needs to be done to help. But I don't know that that the metric development will happen in those groups. In that group, I should say, does that make sense? So evolution. I know. So evolution would exist as a as a group as we develop metrics here. So for example, issue comments. I mean, at some point we don't want to just develop and publish the metric here in the common working group. We need to bring it somewhere to provide yes. feedback yes, and to get exactly. some on. And so the evolution working group would still exist to provide that insight around things like issue comments. I don't, I think if if evolution wanted to initiate a new metric model or a new metric, there's nothing that would stop them from doing that. But at, at this point, that doesn't seem to be happening too much. I will also say that that group is, is pretty lightly attended. Usually it's um, Armstrong and myself, <laughs> but we could like, if we need more folks in that group, we could certainly, um, you know, promote it a little but I think just to have that that space is is important, just like for the reason you said, Matt. Any other thoughts or comments? All righty. Well, thank you, everybody. This yeah. was great. Yeah, uh, good ideas and good ways to move forward. And till the next meeting, whenever I see you. All right. Bye bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Okay, Matt. Before you leave. Yeah. You you are doing the the OSPO working group one more time on next Thursday, right? I am. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I might want to talk to you just a little bit about like, um, what you think we should like talk about. Like, I I'm just I'm sometimes I'm at a little bit of a loss. Like, what this community wants to talk about. Like, yeah. so. I don't know if you have any insights that would be really helpful for me. Do, so we, have, first, do we have any agenda items for for like we the have next? we have one. So the prior weeks, it's mostly just been kind of talking about like metrics and metrics models. We did a software last week. I just wanted to show Augur and Grimoire Lab just so people kind of get a sense of what's available in the Chaos Project. The one agenda item that came up for next time was like, how how do you sift through large amounts of data? Mm -hmm. So that came up in the metrics model working group. Like I was asking for feedback there. And that might be something that's interesting to people. Yeah. No, I think that's definitely interesting because that's that's a big problem that OSPO's face. I mean, that's that's a big problem that we've faced at VMware. I mean, we've been sort of Sean's scale test because we have we have so much data. Um, so yeah. many repositories. Um, so I, I think that's definitely something that that would be interesting. Um, the other.